cute kitten once more. Uh, it's only been about like five minutes since my last recording. Um, something I wanted to do before continuing off is that I haven't shown you my quest log yet. So this is my current set of quest quests. Um, they come in the log in the er order that you receive them, if I remember correctly. So don't pay too much attention to the order of anything in this. So first quest requires me to be in Castle Iron Fist. I could have actually done that while I was in Castle Iron Fist. It dawned on me while I was uploading the last video, but I was also really short on time, so I guess it's acceptable. Um, I'll be back there soon enough anyway. Uh, probably going to go from here to either Castle Iron Fist or to Mist, depending on timing of boats. I would prefer to go to Mist because I have a promotion quest I can go finish now. Uh, next off, the Chime of Harmony. That's in Castle Iron Fist. Uh, destroying the Devil's Outpost, that is actually in the Frozen Highlands. Or, no, sorry, Devil's Outpost is in Creekspire, which I am not going to walk anywhere near anytime soon. Defeating the Warlord is in the Frozen Highlands. Uh, the Harp from the Dragoon's Caverns are in Castle Iron Fist. Ethric Skull is in Freehaven. The Lost Artifact is in Castle, is near Castle Temper. Uh... It's also in a dungeon in Freehaven. Uh, rescuing Sherry from the Shadow Guild. That's actually what I'm working on right now. Or no, sorry. That's Cheryl. Do you see how similar these names are? Ugh. Uh, Sherry is in Castle Iron Fist. Cheryl is in uh, here, actually. So. Um... I misspoke last time. The Temple of the Fists that I happen to have walked near before is not, in fact, where Cheryl is at. Cheryl is instead oops, over here, um, the same area that the Temple of Ba area was. So, I'm going to head out now. I haven't even reloaded, I haven't even reloaded the game since doing this. I've literally just left it running. We're going to fly, because flying is fun. And I want to kill more things. I am playing a action RPG after all. Kinda need to kill stuff. Besides, anybody who uses that terrible pun lizard wizard needs to die. Is this the island that has a capitalized tree? Let's see, lowercase tree, lowercase rock, tree, 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 rock, tree, tree. Okay, yeah, this island was worthless. This island is the not worthless one. Oh, so I failed. Explains why I couldn't see anything. I use Wizard Eye, and basically when I'm playing this game, my eyes, I don't know if you've noticed where they've been kind of pointing at, I'm basically using the mini-map in the top right-hand corner instead of actually looking at the map. That's how I know where I need to attack things at, for instance. And there's one more Lizard Wizard. Die. Okay, go ahead and loot bodies. Maybe you're the one that has the capitalized things? Tree, tree, tree tree rock tree 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 this is also all lowercase Ugh. your useless island oh flies already fallen Ugh. being low level means everything lasts so little time wise What was that fountain? Was that a bonus to accuracy, maybe? Probably a permanent stat increase that I'm now too high stat-wise to get. That's the one downside with going with the uh, immediate going to the Shrine of the Gods is that you can't get as many of the early stat increases because your stats are already too high for it. Now we've pretty much finished off the map, so I'm going to just walk straight to where I need to go. More walks gonna last another hour, I'm fine. So, um, the map's basically cleared out other than the area a little bit to the south. 
And there is one very specific dungeon in there that I might actually be good enough to go through at this point. Mm, this sounds like poison, yeah. I don't think he actually got any type of bonus. All right, is I think it might be Temple of the Sun. It might have been Temple of Tanasia. I'm trying to remember which one's which now. Oh yeah, this temple's gonna murder me dead. This temple is extremely nasty. There is no way I'm surviving this one. So let's try it. I'm just gonna go ahead and save in stream save six. You will see what I mean really fast. See what I mean? Okay. Just gonna save load from the autosave. So that wasn't the one I was thinking of. That's the nasty one. So I must be thinking of it's 1.50 in the morning. This boat's not open. Closed. Yeah. Valkyrie Saturday. Let me check to see what is on Saturday. I am in Bootleg Bay. Valkyrie Saturday. Absolutely nothing. Iron Fist is four days. That's the only place I can get back to from here, so... Okay, there's no reason for me to take the boat. Let's go water walking. It's north, not south. 42 minutes, I can make it there in 42 minutes, luckily. Otherwise, I would start drowning and die really quickly. Again. Yeah, I'm fine, time-wise. So, maybe it's this one? The dungeon here? This dungeon's also nasty. Maybe I should just not come here. This Whoa. one isn't as nasty, at least, but... Uh. All right, more racist stereotypes. Let's go. Let's see, this episode would come up on Saturday, I believe. I also hear snacks. So yeah, I think this might have actually been it. On the plus side, I can actually cure disease now. On the minus side, it's a lot harder for me to kill these now, now that I'm no longer uber buffed. I should be clear, I can actually buff myself a little bit more than I have. You have three, you have four. I just don't want to. Sparks is extremely nice in tight dungeons like this, so. Don't mind me, I will be exploiting the crap out of Sparks. Yeah, they're using my trick, unfortunately. Oh, those are Queen Cobras. Those are actually fairly strong. Sparks? See? Sparks is actually really nice. Oh, you still have Enchant Item as your spell. Yes. Nice bolt. Which is extremely nice by virtue of me throwing all of my points into water. That's kind of the goal of my water mage, after all. You need to heal. It's not great, but it'll do. Tight corridors. Okay. So you notice how there's part of the ground that's kind of watery looking? That's actually a bridge. And I'll be going down here. not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. That's fine. Alright. So, remember, my knight is actually now an expert at perception, so 
she's actually fairly good at this whole actually seeing things. And people are unconscious because I am not good at this. Just think, this is the easier of the dungeons. The Temple of the Fist dungeon is also very nasty. I might have been able to do that this early if I was lucky. You need heal. There's something over here. Yep. Gothic amulet. Gothic air. These are some actually nice things. So, gothic amulet of... Or ruby star amulet of fire resistance. And electric resistance. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the amulets of resistances. But... Oh yeah, I need to enchant my cloak. I'm sure Kriyatir is already yelling at me for not enchanting that earlier. There wasn't another hidden door in here, right? Yeah. Oh, hello there, King Cobra. Goodbye, King Cobra. Okay. Uh, so I could walk back to a temple, go get healed, then walk back here again. And I'm honestly thinking that's not a terrible idea. Or I can actually sleep like a plebeian. Ugh. I think I'll go sleep. Oops. Forgot. This game has... Let's so my key here. mappings aren't quite accurate for the buttons that exist. Now that I need to wait some time anyway, it's less of a big deal for me to... Yep. Oh, great. I actually knocked you unconscious, too. Ah... Uh... And you don't have enough spell points to cure your own poison. Come on. There we go. Let's go get a drink. Are you kidding me? Is it grass one? Grass is two. Is it concrete that's one? No, maybe this entire island's one. The amount of food that it costs to rest varies based off of where you're at. Screw it. I don't like sleeping, but, you know. I have reasons. Also, I should actually cast Torchlight. But not from you. You should be the one to cast Torchlight. Oh, wait, no. You actually have ranks in fire. So it'll last longer than an hour. This makes more sense. And... Ah, uh, it's the, the creepy theme. Okay, so what we need to do is follow the this wibbly path. If we don't, we fall down. Or no, that's right. It's not that we fall down, it's that we take damage. It's not even that much damage, to be honest. I know I've just run through here before. Or you can just do that. Okay. Hi. You're in the wrong room for sparks. Oh, I just got cursed, didn't I? Also, my healer is getting hit badly. Weakness. Okay. That I can deal with. I've got cure weakness. You need to heal yourself. Oh. That, yeah, that's not yourself. Oh. Cure weakness. There we go. No longer weak. And then you can heal yourself a couple times and we'll be good. See, this is what normal dungeon crawling of my magic six is like. You didn't even hit them. Oh, and I have broken chainmail also. Great. I really need to repair item already. That was a waste of magic. Just 
just think, my knight has way more hit points than the rest of my party. They're just focusing on my knight. Yeah, what is it? She has 132 hit points. Next highest is 50. No, oh, 64. Forgot, he's got special stuff. Oops. And nothing in here. Why are they all obsessed over attacking my stupid knight? Ugh. God damn it, people. This is the problem with having a low-level party. Everybody needs healing constantly, and my healing skill is not really up to snuff. I guess I could throw more ranks into body magic. Kind of didn't want to do that, because I wanted to do that first. Which will be more useful later. So that's a pit. You know what we do in pits? We cast sparks down it. There we go. Okay. Uh, a bunch of twisty passages all alike. Okay. Let's actually go in turn-based mode. Kill a whole bunch of people with Sparks. This is the dungeon that Sparks is best in, by the way. It's a really nice spell. But I am so low on hit points for these, this group. Three of my four have leveled up. Strangely, not the actual... Three of the four have leveled up, and the person who hasn't leveled up is not the one without learning, so... Probably because she keeps getting knocked unconscious. I am getting low on healing again. Uh, something, something, snakes and planes. That's kind of useless. That's not. That's actually the highest level on enchanted gauntlets in the game. Anyway, you might as well just go there because. Broken armor does nothing. And this is probably a bad idea. Which is why I'm going to do it anyway. Ha ha! Victory. Meow. Meow. Once more, I need to make sure OBS is up. So I can see how long I'm recording for. Ice Bolt is so awesome. Just remember, if I can see them, that means I can melee them. So I can kill the snacks that way, because they made the walls in this particular dungeon really thin for some reason. High zone. <sighs> High zone, kitty. Difficulty playing with giant orange kitty on your shoulder. Kitty cat. Those are plum pits, kitty cat. They're not edible. Uh, please do not step on my clavicle. Ah, uh. <coughs> oh, the hazards of this house. <coughs> oh dear. He's unconscious. This is not good. And now he's poisoned. And my cat is trying to hunt spiders again. Okay. Now I can at least cure the damn poison. At some point. Thank you. 
And I'm out of magic. Again. I don't remember what this lever does. It opens something. Is that the thing that raised the pits, maybe? Yeah, I'm going to just go back and sleep now. After those are done. Now let's head back and sleep. You're out of magic again. Do you have enough for... Yes, you have enough for first aid. And at least we'll bring them back to consciousness. Oops, I walked in front of that. That was not something I walk, meant to walk in front of. Oh, right, I'm screwed. Um... <sighs> Town portal's a spell. Plus 20, I have 15. Well, I can't cast Town Portal indoors, but if I cast it outdoors, it would take me back to Freehaven, actually. Not the worst idea, but that's not where I want to go, either. Got that one. Okay. I'm going to take a lot of damage from here, potentially. So I'm just running. Oh, it disabled this, doesn't it? Yep, it's disabled. Okay. So at least that means I can do this. Let's Leave. Rest. Go back in. Rinse. Repeat. I am going to finish off this dang dungeon. Uh, it is January 20th. Okay really don't like sleeping this much. You're also casting Torchlight. There we go. More snacks. Goodbye, snacks. Stuff over here. They're bones. I'm not picking up bones. Just making sure there's nothing on the walls. Nope. Just a misleading room. Great. Exactly what I want. Bones. These should be headhunters, I believe. Uh, once more. Racist stereotype. Racist stereotype. Okay. Now I'm at least back to where I was. Going up here. Kill them all. Those are also dead. Now the Cobras are also dead. I don't have the jump spell, so that's actually fairly hard for me to do. Hi. Oddly enough, I'm actually stronger against magic than melee weapons, so... I'd rather melee things. This... yep. Let's say I thought there was a switch in here, and I was right. Does that raise this up? Yes. Definitely enemies on the side of the door. They're hiding, but I can see them. See? Hi. Go back to mouse look. Sparks. You have poison spray. We're going to switch to using poison spray. And we're just going to heal up a little bit again. Poison spray again. There we go. And now we have treasure chests. But I'm going to fight these first before I open the treasure chest and get distracted. Okay, because these are going to be lethal for me. Potentially. Because once more, I do not have disarm trap. 
money. Book of Meditation, I already have. So that's Soul Bait. Book of Flame Arrow, I definitely have. Vanguard Belt, that's not enchantable. Fairy Wing Wand of Sparks is rather nice, and I'm probably going to use it up. That is Soul Bait, that is not, probably not even worth picking up. To be fair, staff's worse. Okay. I got that. Go ahead and heal up a little bit. And sparks poison you're gonna use sparks for a bit so the way wands work is that instead of having a normal melee attack you attack with the spell and it uses a charge as long as you have at least one charge it is the same value as if you had all of the charges and you cannot recharge things in this particular i think cast sparks i think it actually casts it at expert no i don't remember now I'd have to count the number of sparks to figure it out. And I don't particularly care to. Okay. So that opened up a different passage, which I believe is down here. Looks like three. So if it's three, that means it's at basic level. I did not want to bounce those sparks up. So what I'm trying to do is actually kill them while they're in the pit, and I keep missing. That's what I'm trying to do. Sparks is such an awesome spell, because it actually gets affected by gravity. Yep, there's no more enemies there. Okay. That's a lot of damage that I'm taking. Forgot how bad that spell is. It's actually a lot better in the subsequent Might Magic games. There we go. Get rid of the nasty hitting one. Uh, nobody else is injured. Great. Um, heal. Attack. The weakest one because then I only have two enemies left. You don't have any good offensive spells right now. You do. Oh, I'm still on the wrong spell. Uh, you know what? Static charge, sucker. You're gonna heal yourself because that's a little more important. Switch back to ice bolt, please. All oh, right, you still have the wand equipped. Since that's only at basic level, let's actually just go ahead and mark that as cell bait. <sighs> I could reorganize this a little bit better. Slightly better. Not by much. Well, these are things that go to you. Okay, anything else in here? Yes, there is a switch. Which is probably raising this up. Yep. That is actually where I'm trying to go, if I remember correctly. I hope this is the temple with Sherry, Cheryl, Sherry, with what's her face in here. So good for sparks. And naturally, they knock the sorcerers unconscious. Again. So, in My Magic 6, the enemies actually have a priority system as to who they attack. Um, each monster has a specific type of either class or gender identity that they will attack first. And there's a good chance that the male headhunters are probably attacking uh, women sorcerers first because I'm noticing that she's taking a lot more damage than everybody else at this point. And it's not like she has more hit points than the cleric. In fact, she actually has better AC. 
she should be getting hit less often. Yeah, because this isn't a trap at all. There's definitely more things over there, so let's go heal up slightly more. How am I doing? 24 and 24. I have one casting left. Save it for now. Hi. This is not good for hit points. Okay. So I've got some chests. You're going to use your last casting on the wrong person. Good job, me. You're going to use first aid, I guess, which you barely have enough spell points. No, you don't even have enough spell points. You know what? You're drinking that. Then you're going to use real magic. Okay. Okay. Save. These are probably bad ideas, but I'm hoping that they'll actually get me something oh. good. Yeah, you notice how she du ducked? That's from perception. This is actually what I need. And yes, I am in the correct dungeon. That's good. Nice. That's cell bait. Uh -huh. That's enchantable. Uh -huh. That's cell bait. Uh. That's useless. So that was cell bait, so that goes over there. Okay. That's not even trapped? I didn't think there were any chests in this part of the game that aren't trapped. Interesting. I guess I learned something today. Hooray. All right. So here's the map that we have. You'll notice that there's a couple of spots missing, the ones in the middle. What I've been doing is that I've been orbiting around the outer edge, and then I will be discovering things in the middle. So one of the things I need to do is over on this side, there's more snacks. I don't remember what's actually in here. Probably things I shouldn't be fighting at such low hit points, but you know. No guts, no glory, or something like that. It's over here, isn't it? Oh, this is just the other side of that, and I've already been there. Okay. That makes me feel better. I bet there's actually a point of this place now that I can even rest in. So, going back through here. There's definitely enemies in here. capacity to hold that anymore. Full on witch doctor and death did. Okay. More enemies there, more enemies there. I am so low on hit points. This is not Once more, if I can see them, they can also see me, which means they can attack just as easily as I can. The main difference is that they don't have sparks. Suckers. Okay. There's a room right here. Yep, once more. It's really weird how this game ends up clipping through walls. And it's a speed thing, as far as I can tell. Certain speeds of processors. It's not even just, hey, look, the faster ones are more likely to do it. This happened back then, too. I really don't understand. And there is nothing in here. Okay. That means that I have basically finished the outer edge. Yeah, that room was the one I finished earlier. 
So map-wise, this is the only area I have left. And if I remember correctly, that just connects to the front entrance again. But I have the center area that I can go through once I get through. The room on the left, I think, is the one that causes that. So let me go woohoo. Come on, you gonna clip through the wall or not? Nope, not wanting to clip through the wall. Oh, that was wizard eye expiring. That's torchlight expiring. Yeah, this is not gonna work well for me. Or I can get really lucky in my attacks, one of the two. It totally looks like that should be a hidden door. Anyway. Um, I could have swore I saw something in the wall. Save the game again. Because these guys will kill me. Um, let's see. How many spell points do I have? One. One spell point. And I also have one spell point there. <sighs> Drink up. Mm, you took a status effect. Um, you know what? Yeah, that's what I thought. It would actually do more damage. All right. That works. Go ahead and swap the dark hammer back in. Use that to heal you up. And cure weakness costs exactly one spell point. Hi, bye. I should probably be kiting them. That would be smart. I've never claimed to be the smartest might magic six player. I'm the most stubborn instead with having a cleric at one hit point and zero spell points. That's a bone. And this should be risen at this point. No, that is not risen. Did I miss a switch? There might be a switch in one of these rooms. switch right here. Is that the one I needed to hit? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to go down that way. That would be dumb. I'm going to go back and heal again. Ugh, I think I've slept more in this section of the game than I have in most runs of this game. This is what I get for not abusing Lloyd's Beacon and Town Portal a bunch. Um, so... I don't have Lloyd's Beacon, which is part of the reason why I'm having to do it this way. Rest. Go back in. You notice that my reputation's dropping, and the reason why is that reputation drops over time. It's based off the number of days that you spend. General gist is basically, hey, look, you're awesome. I don't remember you anymore. It may not be fair, but that's the way the game works. So that's another incentive for you to try and speed the game up. Technically, all of these bridges that I'm doing and so on, if I had the jump spell, I would can just completely ignore. You gonna come in here and play? Oh, my speed is so low in this game. Yeah, I see you there. Bunch of bones. I didn't pick up a bone, right? No, okay. Switch that I need to hit. Make sure that these really are all bones. They are. 
And that's the final room. Let's go ahead and cure wounds. And while I'm at it, I'm even going to bless my knight. Inferno! Inferno! Uh, let's see, can I do that a third time? I'd have to give him two mana potions. Worth. Your poison right now. Oh, so I get a chance to actually show you what this does. So you notice how all of her stats are yellow? That indicates a penalty of some variety. Um, this is for the medium power poison. And basically what medium power poison does is drop all of your stats but luck by I think it's one third or something like that. It actually looks to be a little bit over half. It, it depends on the stat anyway. That's what poison does, and I don't want my knight poisoned. Uh, you don't have enough spell points yet. You need to drink more magic potion! Okay, this is in a bad situation. This is what Inferno is for. To murder as many things as I can make murder. You have eight spell points. I would need to use two more... Magic potions, which I don't have. Oh, yeah, I do. Success. Success. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, you actually have a bunch of magic potions sitting in your inventory. Never mind. Um, you're going to cast Sparks because things are actually close enough now where Sparks is a very effective spell. You're going to attack that Witch Doctor. You're casting Sparks. Oh, and you're just knocked unconscious. That's great. Inferno! Heal her. She's poisoned. Great. Yeah, you have next to nothing in magic left. Yep. You're just going to attack. Go ahead and move some of the pile of dead bodies in the way. We're going to cure poison. We're going to kill that cobra. Yeah, these are really low on hit points now. And that one probably just ducked some of the inferno attacks, and that's about it. So, number of enemies in here is drastically lowered. We're still in yellow, so there's definitely still enemies somewhere. Like right here. And once more with a stupid jumping thing. Okay, so we've got left and right. As I turn right and left respectively, good job me. Uh, go ahead and heal the wizard. Wait, the wizard actually has more hit points than you. What am I doing? There. You're gonna go this way. Ah, crap. That was more than I was expecting in there. And I'm surrounded now. Poopy. Just poopy. You're going to sparks in there because that's a better target area for you. You're gonna heal. You're gonna punch the switch doctor in the face. You're going to heal. You're going to punch the Switch Doctor in the face. You're going to Sparks in there. You're going to... Oh, I'm out of healing. Great! Punch the Cannibal in the face. You're going to Sparks again. I have a lot of people poisoned. This is not good. I'm going to have to use that. Sparks down there. 
In fact, I'm actually going to move up a bit. Regroup slightly. Cast your poison. In fact, revive you via potion. And your poison. So many damn potions. Normally I don't go through this many potions. It's quite unfortunate. I know, this video is probably not as entertaining as the others have been. So I'm not doing any ridiculous things. I'm actually doing normal. How freaking many times am I getting poisoned? I know, I don't have any poison resistance and that's part of the problem. But poison resistance is slightly bugged in this game anyway. It doesn't do much. I got the Queen Cobra. Can I bank some sparks off of there? Yes. Hit B. You're going to cure your own poison. Help. You're going to heal yourself slightly. I'm going to move forward slightly more. You're mostly injured. Or you're mostly injured. Uh, I'd hit you anyway. Okay. Not what I was trying to do. Not at all. What's in here? A bed. Well, I'm nearly dead anyway. Let's go ahead and try to trigger the trap. Uh -oh. It's an axe. Uh -oh. It's a war axe. I think that's enchantable. That's on the edge. Forgot that I had not cleared out the area. That was dumb of me. Now I'm cleared out. Hey, hey look, it's Cheryl! Cheryl Ivanova. Hello? Please, oh please get me out of this temple. I don't want to die. So we have completed another quest from Castle Iron. Or that one's from um, New Tropical. No, that one's Freehaven. God damn it, brain. Okay. This will probably not kill me at all because it's completely untrapped. Okay. I'm done with this place. Let's just get out of here. Uh, let's see. This way. Should have left out the other exit. That was closer. Anyway, this dungeon is clear. Finally, it's only taken me 50 minutes. And this is a small dungeon. I mean, it fits on one screen, but it's very compressed. Just making sure that I really did finish. I mean, I'm not seeing anything on the outer edge. But I finished. Yay. And I totally walked past my exit. This way. That out. All right. Are you going anywhere useful? Because if you are, I might just boat instead of walk. No, you never go anywhere useful. Um, let's see. Wow, my fame, uh, my reputation's down to 206 now. Um, let's see. Where do you end up going? That's right, you only go to the other bootleg bay. It's not worth it. Um, which means that I should just heal and walk to Castle Iron Fist. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, no reason not to. We're going to water walk. Which lasts a lot longer. Is it done on May after the end of the last episode? It lasts longer because I have more ranks in water than I do in air. So I should probably explain how the expert and mastery system works in Might Magic 6. 
So every skill in the game, you can expert at four ranks of the skill. That's all it takes. There are zero skills in the game that have any exception to this that I remember. And glancing through a skill list, I didn't see any either. Now, there's also Mastery. Mastery takes more ranks of skill. And there are definitely exceptions to the... It takes four ranks. Um... I guess I could actually go over to the Hall of the Fire Lord. I don't think I can do that yet. So, fun fact: um, the border, the land border, is right here for Castle Iron Fist. It is totally possible for enemies to walk across the border. They are not affected by the border, unlike you. When that happens and you kill them across the border, that can randomly mean that you have to use telekinesis to go loot their bodies. Telekinesis is one of the most useful spells in the game, even though they didn't really mean to use it that way. Although I guess there's not much of a different use for telekinesis. So they had to mean something. Oh well. Let's get these lizard wizards. There. Horrible abominations. And you're the last one. There we go. And this is the circus. I assume the circus is not here at the moment. Easy way to find out. Oh, circus has moved. So the circus is something I will have to do later. Because I promised I would do every quest in the game, and there is the most annoying quest in this game has to do with the circus. It is completely optional. Not only is it optional, you shouldn't do it. There's no quest reward for doing so. You don't even get XP. That is how bad this quest is. They're falling down. Oh, I got poisoned? I didn't realize headhunters could poison. Also, notice how she's the only one injured at uh, significantly injured, and she's all the way down. She is definitely being targeted earlier than the others. Cure poison. <sighs> all of her things are going to be horribly broken. Cure wounds. Wounds. Okay, now I just have the things up there, which I think it's an obelisk. I don't remember what's up there now. But I'm going to find out. Yep, it's an obelisk. So the obelisk puzzle is something that you can do later on in the game. Well, technically, you can do it at any point in the game. It's just that there's a requirement for you to hit every single zone of the game because there's at least one obelisk, or not at least, there's exactly one obelisk in every zone of this game. And it gives you this message. And once you have all of them, you can figure out what it means. I actually know what it means, but the game won't let you actually do anything with it until, until you've actually collected all of them anyway. Cloth hat of luck. Well, instead of plus two spell points, you're getting plus two luck. You, instead, are getting plus two spell points because you're constantly out. So, let me see if I can even pull off anything dealing with this. Uh, I will go ahead and stop this episode here, and I'll start the recording immediately after this because, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. If you notice that I go nope and leave, that, pro that means that I wasn't really able to handle the inside of it, and it's not worth me recording and letting you know what was going on. Until next time, Internet, I will see you, I don't know, probably record another one of these tomorrow if I don't record further tonight. I should probably also pause.